the uh, adherence to even identifying with Islam is plummeting in many parts of the Muslim world, uh, Middle East states, and even Iran. Now, one would perhaps not be surprised by that in Iran, given theocracy, given imposition, and you know, uh, no human being uh, actually takes well to being imposed upon. But even in those parts of the world that would otherwise, quote, stick with Islam as a way of sticking it to Western colonizers, um, aren't doing that anymore. And a whole new generation is beginning to just let go of any loyalty to Islam. And it's something that uh, I think a lot of Muslims are in denial about, because again, they recognize that uh, their own identities are going to have to be challenged if they're going to allow for a, you know fresh air to come into the practice of Islam. But in the course of selfishly protecting their own identities, they're allowing the very source of that identity, Islam itself, to be thrown out the window. When the reality is you really can have a win-win here where you, know, you have something more like a reform Islam, like we have in America, reform Judaism, where a, a whole new generation can identify with it but identify in ways that have integrity to them. You know, uh, there are um, uh, avenues within Islam to promote environmentalism, to promote animal welfare, even uh, the well being of dogs that are traditionally uh, thought to be toxic, nudges, as it said in Arabic, dirty and spiritual dirty, spiritually dirty, not merely physically dirty. But I can tell you that I see out there Facebook pages and initiatives that people write to me about in which a new generation is taking the reins of what Islam means to them and really and truly making it meaningful, uh, to, uh, meaningful enough to address today's issues. Those who live in societies where they're free enough to be able to smuggle that into their lives is where this is happening. Those who don't live in free enough societies to do that is where Islam is dying. Wow. Uh-huh.